Oke, okay, uh, hello, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, today we are going to continue our discussion dealing uh, knowing the validity as one of the qualities of a good test. For example, in multiple choice. So, how to construct a multiple choice test? You already know about it. You've learned it so far in the previous meeting, prob uh, in the previous semester. And this is after you uh, construct the multiple choice, it is important for you to know the qualities of the multiple choice item. And then I'm going to remind you that dealing one of the questions given by um, one of the students, by Laili, if I'm not mistaken, um, by Laili at that time asked me, so it means that, for example, number one not valid, it means that number one, it is only work for number one? Yes, it is. So. Knowing like valid or not valid, we are going to see, for example, question number one, the result not valid, it means that you are not going to use the item. If number two valid, for example, you are going to use the item for testing your real students. So that's it. there are three ways for knowing valid, not valid. Manually, we did it in our class. And then um, using, using, uh, using Microsoft Excel, and then, uh, okay, the last item we are going to learn how to use the SPSS. But before we start, you have to be able to download it, uh, the file first. I actually give the file here. So um, you have to download the SPSS. I give the link and then install the file and then restart your laptop and then copy paste the crack to your computer. Okay, so I have the picture there as well. And then I have found like today, uh, for helping you to understand what we are learning, you may uh, click or you may download the file knowing the validity of multiple choice item using uh, SPSS 25. Okay, now without further ado, we are going to learn how to construct or how to do um, the SPSS. But before that, we have to open our SPSS file. I'm going to talk here. SPSS. The IBM SPSS Statistics 25 application. Click it. Okay, once it opens, it's going to be like this the background or the home page. And then suddenly you are going to move like this. If you, for example, install the application that I gave to you, as along with the crack item, you are going to have for about like five. Uh, 1760 days left in your trial it means that I don't know like one day uh, like a year is about 265 so more than 10 years more than 12 years you may use it okay <clears throat> so after you have this you are going to uh, click the new file new data set and then you are going to see something like this i'm going to make it uh, a bit not really bigger i'm going to use this probably because okay so what you have to pay attention is that here we have like data view and variable view we are going to go to the data view instead of so you have to make sure that it's going to be like a yellow color in data view and then you are going to open the file that you are going to analyze. Last week, I have posted the file. So what you are going to do is that you are going to open your own file, LTA week 6. And then, um, okay, we have like 20 questions, 20. And then what you are going to do is that control, uh, you are going to log. On, not including the number, just like the result from number, question number one done by 20 participants, block everything until all the questions that I have, including the why, or we are going to later mention it as the total. So we are, uh, we are going to copy it, control C, and then we are going to paste on our Okay, be careful, we have output and we have untitled too. Uh, we are going to put the data here. And then control V. Oops, okay. 
so you are going to see like the data okay in like equations including like the total y here see okay before we are going to press into uh, the next steps you have to be able you have to change the far and so far because you need to clarify what does it mean by changing from data view into variable view okay you may choose either you are going to one by one uh, change it like this for example x01 and so forth but it's going to be uh, probably if for example you only have like 20 questions or you are going to change it into uh okay make it easier key o1 for example it takes time okay but you have to remember uh it's okay but if for example you have a lot of time you are going to do it manually but i'm going to suggest you by okay make it something fast so you are going to block and then control f and then instead of find you are going to replace for o o o into for example like q means that questions and then replace all And then close but you have to remember go to the data view again uh, you have to remember that this one is not the questions number 21 we don't have any questions number 21 but it is the sum or this is the total of student number one answering questions 1 to 20 so in the variable view here again you are going to click the variable view and then only for number 22 you are going to change into for example uh, it's going to be like the result you are going to type total underscore r r x y because after you press it uh, this will be like you are going to compare the total or r x y to the r table so go back to the data view okay so you are going to see clearly that oops we have questions number one till questions number 20 and it's going to be future rxy okay for now it's only um the total of y okay now after you change uh, the heading over here you make sure that the data for you are going to go to this you are going to go to analyze okay and then choose the correlate and then choose be fair yet okay click it okay you have to make sure the equations you are going to analyze all the item including the total so you are going to control a means that you are going to plug it and then click this sign like this okay so everything here move into the variables uh, box here and then because we are using um we are analyzing the validity make sure that it's going to be like person to tell like do not do anything here just as usual so do not check do not check okay and then if it is clear just cancel it and then you are going to click ok button and then voila in short you are going to see the result okay you are going to see the result but you are going to see you are going to compare uh, the wait a minute, it's too small. Okay, I'm going to make it bigger, still too small. Okay, so you are going to see this questions number one. Okay, question number one the person correlations mean the validity 